Very good. I appreciate the fact that people went out and voted and uh, cast their vote for me. I feel uh, it's humbling to, um, to have someone entrust their vote uh, for someone. And uh, so we're, we're confident, but we're still waiting for the, uh, you know, of course, for today's vote, the primary vote. But we're very confident that we got a message across. We made a lot of proofs in the sheriff's office, and people see that. And uh, today was just a, we felt uh, uplifted today because people came over and uh, were grateful uh, for the work the sheriff's office has done. Uh, even though they, they said we know some areas we could do better, uh, they still cast a vote for me, and I promised them that in those areas we will we'll do better for them. And they were not big, they were not big improvements. There were some little things that people made mention of, and I told them I'll get back to them with it, uh, with uh, some of the areas that we addressed. But we felt pretty good. I don't know who's going to be number, uh, who's going to be the opposition. Uh, for the general, but right now we feel pretty confident that I'll be in the, the general, and uh, we're just uh, waiting to see what the final results are. And what are some of the areas that you would like to work on, you yourself, as well as some that the public would like to change? We'd like to see more deputies out there. Uh, people were mentioning the fact that they uh, they listen to scan, they realize how overworked we are, and uh, because of uh, you know the buyouts, we're trying to get those positions refilled by the commissioners. And, and that was one of the areas the, uh, that we're working on for them, is, the, uh, is more deputies. We're looking at some positions we're going to be able to fill, and hopefully that'll, uh, that'll reduce time. We still have individuals, uh, deputies, who are in the uh, FTO program right now, and they haven't graduated from that. So once these, once these deputies hit the street solo, we'll start seeing some, uh, some improvements in, uh, in on the calls for service and uh, some of the response. That, not the emergency response. Those response times are very good. The, uh, the regular response times for, uh, for calls for service that are not a high priority, and those are the areas we have to work on. I said, so we're in the process of doing that. There's some ideas we have, and remember, I'm, I hit this, I'm hitting the streets a little bit more often now in order to take some of the workload off the deputies. I know you yourself go out on the streets, especially when you have the deputies, when they're needed for an emergency, when they have worked overtime. I've seen you many times go out there on the streets yourself. Well, that's correct. I do back them up. Uh, when I get, give a call for service, I'll, I'll jump on a call and give another deputy an opportunity to, uh, you know, to patrol their area. But as, as, a, as a peace officer, that's my job. It's not just administrating the officer sheriff, but actually as a peace officer. And I actually find working the streets a lot, sometimes a little more gratifying than just sitting behind a desk. I like being out there. I, that's what I did for a lot of years in my, in my career. So, uh, well, like I said, we, I like it out there, and a couple of the administrators, and once in a while, they jump in as well. We've got to be very careful because we don't want to breach that 20%, which then I have to start paying them overtime. So we have to be very careful making them keep them uh, exempt employees. Did you go out to the polls today? Uh, we, we hung around uh, a poll today. Uh, out in the sun, as you can tell, I got a little uh, almost fried, but uh, it, was, it was gratifying. We had a very good time uh, hanging out there, talking to other people running for office as well, sharing some ideas. And I'm looking forward to working to the people that are going to be elected. Uh, you know, I hope, I hope the people uh, re-elect re me as sheriff and uh, general. Um, and we'll just see what happens from there. Thank you so much, Tony. I appreciate the opportunity. Thanks to everybody for voting. It was very important that they cast a vote, no matter who they voted for. Thank you. Thank you.